Okay, welcome back to Photo Story 3 for Windows. This is part two in the demonstration on using Photo Story 3 to create a digital story. Uh, once again, we're working with uh, my digital story from the trip I took to Yosemite Valley uh, last summer. So we'll go ahead and uh, start building the story. We kind of went over some nuts and bolts of, of just how to use the tool. So uh, this demonstration will just give you a chance to see the tool in action. Um, First off, with any good story, you need a you need a good opening. So I think, in my opinion, there's nothing more iconic in Yosemite Valley than uh, El Capitan, 3,000 foot cliff face that uh, greets you pretty much right when you enter the valley. So I'm going to go ahead and select that picture. That'll be my opening shot, and I'm going to move it all the way to the front of the presentation. And I'm going to go back. Also to removing the black borders. I want to I want to crop the picture down. But I think I want to use the black border to my advantage here. So I'm going to size it down and I'm going to use the black border to to frame in L cap. And you'll see uh why I'm doing this here in a in a moment. So I'm going to say yes, I want to select that. Now it's going to take me to the next picture, and I'm going to say cancel. I'm not ready to do anything with that yet. Okay, so I've got my picture selected. I'm going to go ahead and add some titles here. This is going to be Yosemite Summer 2006. I'm going to left justify that, or put that at the top, and then let left justify. I'm going to go in and, and play with some fonts here for a little bit. A font style I really like a lot is Papyrus. I'm going to go ahead and bold that for my title. And I'm going to just guess about 13 for the font size. And I think silver is going to look nice. Kind of keep the theme of the cliff going. So that's my, that's going to be my title. See, so I use the the black border to help frame the title as well. So I think that looks pretty good. Also, I'm going to want to build a progression here. So the next shot I'm going to want to get, I'm going to want to look for a picture for when we first entered into the valley. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and move this towards the front as well. And I'm going to drop it right there. That's just a next to our PT Cruiser rental vehicle that we were thrilled to death to have. There's nothing more manly than entering Yosemite in a PT Cruiser. Let's see if I can find the other picture. Okay, here we go. This is me posing on the way into the valley as well. So I'm going to go to the next, next space here. This is where you can add narration to your pictures. The first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, configure the microphone settings so it knows what level to record at for your presentation. Uh, you can delete, stop, and start recording. I'm not going to mess with that right now since I'm recording this presentation anyways. Uh, and then you can type some notes here to prompt you for each picture that you're going to deal with. Uh, the other thing that you see on this page is a preview button, and we'll get to that in just a second. So first off, we're going to go explore Customize Motion. Okay, that takes us to this page here. The motion is uh, what's also called the Ken Burns effect, and we'll play around with that for a little bit. So we're going to specify the start and the end position. Actually, we're going to start... I want to go to the... Uh, the first picture here. Okay, so I want this to be a still picture and I want it to play for about seven and a half seconds. Give a good intro there. And I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. Now it's going to let me go on to the next picture. And I want to change the start position a little bit. 
I think I want to switch these actually. I want to start with a wide pan. And I got to be careful now because I've got some of these black borders I could have gone through and and uh, deleted some of those. So let's start with the wide pan. And then we'll make it a little bit smaller to narrow in on Justin and the PT Cruiser. And we'll go and adjust the time to about uh, about five seconds, I think. We can go on to the next picture, so on and so on. So now we can check out the preview, see what we've got so far. It's going to take a second for this to load up. So as you can see it, you can you can do quite a bit to manipulate the pictures in this very very simple program. It's going to take some planning, and I I use the preview button a lot to check my progress and to to check the motion, and we'll get into some of that in the transitions here in a little bit as well. As you can see also on the preview. The scroll bar starts from whatever picture we're on. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the preview. And it's going to start over from the beginning. So let's. Here we go. So this is what our digital story is going to look like so far. And here's our Ken Burns effects in action. You can see the picture there left with the black borders on it. Doesn't look too bad. And that's the one I added the title to with the uh, in the last presentation. So we'll go ahead and close this. And we'll go ahead and close this out as well. Okay, now we're ready to select some music for the presentation. And we will get into that in the next lesson. Thanks for joining me. And uh, check back for the last installment of Photo Story 3 where we will add some music. And we will finish our project and get it ready to upload onto YouTube.